guys, welcome back to my channel. I have behind me, not there, like right behind me, I have a bunch of books. Um, everything from books that I got on Boxing Day because they had the 50% off sale at Barnes and Noble and I went with my daughter. I didn't have any money, so I wasn't planning on buying anything. She bought me three books. They're in that stack. Uh, I've also been to Half Price Book, um, a local books, a local used bookstore that I just recently found, and a couple of library book sales. So um, most of the books behind me I got for a very discounted price. I also have um, Book of the Month and then my Fairy Loot books behind me too. So I figure that I will just turn around, grab some books, and we will look at them and I will show you what I've gotten. first pile is in a bag that I got over the weekend. This is um, my bag of library book sales. We went to two different library book sales. I have absolutely no idea how many books are in here. I think there's like 20 books in here, but I'm not sure. I spent $18 on this whole, on this whole bag, so we should go through it. Um, I went to, we have a, both of the library book sales I went to were um, like once a quarter type of things. My local library does um, almost weekly. They do them every Monday, but I didn't find that out until Tuesday. Um, and then they're closed this Monday because of President's Day. So I have not been to my local bookstore. I think there might be one in here because I'll have like a little shelf that have like books in it. I think one of my books, books behind me is from that shelf. But other than that, all the books are from Paul's Bow and I'm not marked what the other one's called, I forgot. Uh, unfortunately, the second one that we went to, it was day two. I didn't even know they had a book sale there because they're not part of my county. I live in Washington, I live in Kitsap, Kitsap County. And I look up their book sales. Um, this one I found on this website called booksalefinder.com or something. And I didn't even know it was there. Um, they do these ones quarterly, they started it on Friday, and so when I went yesterday, most of the books were gone, there was nobody there, it was weird, but I did find a couple books. So I'm not positive where each of them are, but I'm holding one in my lap right now. So the first book that I got was Bloody Rose. Um, this is the sequel to Kings of the Wild, and I really, really want to read Kings of the Wild, and so I went ahead and grabbed this one too, because it's a paperback, so it's only a dollar. Uh, same library sale, which is the second library sale we went to. I got a Susan Mallory book because I love having these stupid junk food romances once in a while. And um, Susan Mallory is one of my favorite of these types of uh, authors because they're always cute, they're always sweet, they're always set in small towns. And I just went ahead and grabbed that one. I also got the Year of Rest and Relaxation. Um, I've heard quite a bit about this one and I've heard really hit and miss stuff, but I got it at a book sale, so I only spent a dollar on it. Um, and I figured if I don't like it, it's not a big deal. I can sell it back to half price books for what I paid for it, basically. Um, or I can take it to the used bookstore, which is probably what I'm gonna do because the used bookstore is a better deal. It's a trade program where you um, bring in books, they'll give you a quarter of the price of the book as a trade-in, so you actually get more umph for your trade-ins. Uh, the next one I got is called Silver's Edge. I do not remember anything about this one. I did look it up. It was the first of a series. It's a fantasy series and it's a little bit of an older book. Look, I don't remember. It's from 2004. Um, but it sounded interesting and I'm sure there'll be times where I'm going to be looking on my bookshelf and be like, give me something I don't know a ton about and I'll be this one. <laughs> okay, so I think I don't know. Oh, there's another one. Um, I think most of these books, I think these were the books I got from the second one and these are all from the first one. Okay, so just to, you know, keep things fun and interesting, I got books I've never heard of. So we have The Mark of the Demon. I don't know. 
I looked it up. It's the first in the series. It is a paranormal book and I am in that mood right now. I am 100% a mood reader and the book series that I'm reading right now is by Patricia Briggs. I have one of the books in here. Um, but I've been looking for that series so I can read it. I had the first one. I bought the second, third, and fourth from Book Outlet. The box never showed up. Tracking says it's lost. So now I have to rebuy those books. I already bought the fourth one on accident. I bought it at the same time I bought the fifth, sixth, and seventh, which I got from Pango, which is not here yet, so it's not gonna be in this haul. Um, but I am definitely looking for the first and second. So it's part of the reason I went to all these book sales, was hoping I'd find them. So instead, I found books like this, which are in that same realm, but I definitely don't know what they are. This is the same way. This is called Finding the Lost. I don't know. Um, I think it's number two in the series. I tried to stick to as close to the beginning of the series as possible because I'm one of those people that I can buy a third or fourth book in a series, but I may never read them. So this was like a first or a second also. And again, it was a paranormal book. I have no idea if it's got romance in it. I have no idea what it's really about. I was just like, it had a decent score on Goodreads and therefore I was like, okay, I'll try it out. Um, the next two books I bought are the first and second of a um, cozy mystery. I don't remember which one's which. They were 50 cents each, just like these were 50 cents each. So it wasn't like it was a big deal if I didn't like them. This one is Death Comes to London and this one is Death Comes to the Village. They had like 10 books in this series on the shelf that ranged from 50 cents to a dollar or $2. Um, but I have never heard of them before. So I was like, let's not get a bunch of books that I've never heard of because I may not like them, but I've been a kind of a cozy mystery. So here we go. All right, next I have The Urban Shaman. Again, I looked, it's a dollar. It's the first book in a series. It's paranormal, so I grabbed it. Let's see what else is in here. I got another Susan Mallory book. This one is Marry Me at Christmas. It's a fool's gold romance. I am like halfway through this series. I read it off and on, and all of the books are like standalones. They all have, they're all in the same world, but they follow different characters. It doesn't matter if you read them out of order, but you might see like a couple that's in a previous book, so I try to read them in order. I didn't have this one. Luckily, I have an app that shows me all the books that I have and don't have, and I wasn't on that one. All right, I have, oh, apparently three of these books. Okay, so I have number one, number four, and number five. So hopefully I like this one and I can get two and three. Um, it's all the same series though. All right, I also got the plot. This was my most expensive book of the day. It's $2. Um, I don't know, know much about this. I know that it's like a thriller and I know that it's well loved. Uh, but I know it's also older and I haven't heard a bunch about it recently, but I remember hearing a lot about it at the time. All right, so I know I have a second one. Okay. So I have number two and number three of these. This one is The Autumn Throne and this one is The Winter Crown. They are historical fictions about different queens. I looked them up. You don't need to read these in order because they don't go together. It's like reading the Lady Janie's um, Jane books. You can read them in any order you want because the books don't actually go together. They're just in a series because they have a similar plot. So this one is about the Queen of England and this one is about uh, the King Henry II. I don't, I looked up the first one, I just don't remember anything about them. They were a dollar each, so I think I'll probably still get the first one to go first. Maybe I can look on Pango or on Thrift Books or something and find it there. All right, um, I've heard of Darcy Coates before, but I've never heard of this book. It's called um, Hunted. It's about this girl who disappears in a forest and they find her camera and it's full of really strange um, pictures which is all I needed to know. The book looks brand new. It's beautiful, it's perfect. It was a dollar. It had a plot that I thought sounded interesting, so I bought it. Bag away. Um, the next book that I got is Where the Crawdads Sing. Again, it was a dollar. Um, 
I've listened to about half this book and I have watched the movie. I wanted to finish the book and if I like it, I will keep it. If I don't like it, it will go into the pile to go to half price. Um, and then the last two books that I got are from Patricia Briggs, which is the series that I am currently reading. This is like number seven or eight or something in the series. Um, it's called Storm Cursed. The first few I have are paperback. And then I know that they are also coming, that the newer ones are all in a hardcover. So I have one hardcover so far. I also have this book that I got from Pango um, that is all the short stories in that same world. So that way I can read through them. And I'm this far through the book right now because these ones are all happened before the first book in the series. And then I have a couple that happened between the first and the second, but I am halfway through the second one right now. And I just wanted to start the second one and did not want to wait. So I just will finish that eventually. And then this is another book from the same author, but written um, in a different series that's in the same world. I have the first book of that series also. And because I'm enjoying this series so much, I went ahead and bought it because it's a dollar. And it just means one last book I have to find later on. Um, they are, they start from like the early 2000s and they span through just recently. And there's like 16 books in the series. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm just going to keep reading the series until I get bored. If I'm going to stop and read something else. I have no idea. But as of right now, I am on a mission to read these books. And I am almost done with the second book right now. And I have it from checked up from the library because like I said, that box never showed up. If it shows up, I will do another one of these and show it to you. All right, so books behind me. I have um, a couple, there's three of them. Okay, I have three books from um, the last few months of Fairy Loot. I have The Ones That Burn. I don't know which months these are. I don't know if it says in here. But you have beautiful um, inside jacket, beautiful cover. You have sprayed edges and end papers. Okay, hold on. Take the the signatures in here. Okay. So we have these ones. That's the one thing I do like about Owl Crate that I miss that um, Fairy Loot doesn't do. It's not all of Fairy Loots are signed, but all of Owl Crates are. And so sometimes you get these, which I prefer to have them actually signed. Uh, I don't know. What I, I have no idea what it's about. I just honestly, I've been getting the last couple of months, and I don't know what any of them are about. This one was, so that's probably December. This one's probably January. This one is Cruel um, Illusions. Oh, all of my paperwork is in here. So I have, again, you have end papers that are very pretty. You have a front cover that's also very pretty. Nothing on the inside of this one though. Um, and let's see if this one's signed or not, because I don't remember. Yes, this one is signed. Um, again, I don't know what they're about. They come in the box. I look at them, I go, ooh, oh, look how pretty. Put them on my shelf and then forget about them because I have problems. And then this month's was called Spice Road. Again, beautiful sprayed edges, stuff that came in the box. We have end pages we have inside cover and then we have the actual beautiful cover itself these books are gorgeous and i love them i just wish they were signed um this one is so the last two months have been signed it looks like december was not though and then of course we have all the stuff i want to buy the missing um tarot cards. I'm missing a couple from the very beginning of this series. So I think I'm missing like three or four. Um, one of them got lost and then I missed. So yeah, I'm missing five. 
So I, and one of mine got lost. So like the very first two, they got lost. And then I went book only for a little while. Book only doesn't come with the tarot cards. And then I went back to the normal one because to me, the normal one isn't worth it more than the book only is because it's only like a $10 difference and you get all the extra stuff. So to me, it's worth getting all the extra stuff for $10 more dollars instead of just getting the book only. But because of that, I'm missing a couple of the tarot cards and I'm hoping I can replace them. But I keep looking online and um, they never have them. So I don't know. All right, I also have my book of the month from December. I skipped January on accident. I waited too long because I was, you know, not in that good headspace. Um, and apparently if you go three weeks without picking anything, they just say, oh, I guess you, I guess you missed it. I thought it was weird. I thought you had the whole month to pick, but apparently you don't. You only have the first couple weeks to pick. And I was in a bad headspace, and so I didn't pick anything for January. So I messed up. I lost out on January's books. And then February, I just wasn't, wasn't in the mood to buy any. So I didn't. So this is from December. Um, I have one free one in here, one extra, and then my actual book. Okay, so it comes with stickers, the book of the year marker, the uh, bookmark itself, the book of the year. I didn't have this one already, so I got this one for free. You could get any of the books. So there's like a list of like five different books that you could pick up. And I wanted tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow, but I never got it. So that was my free one for the year. You also get a free one for your birthday. Um, and then I got Babel, which was my book of the month for January, for uh, December, which I obviously have not read because I just opened the book box. And then I got this one as an extra because I thought it was cute. That's because um, I uh, kissed her once for me, which is just a, a, I think it's a sapphic love story, which I'm into and so is my daughter. So that'll get read eventually. And then the last group of books I have, I have a couple from Barnes & Noble. Like I said, I did a couple from the uh, Barnes & Noble sale. I'm missing one. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I got Saint. Saint is the prequel to Fable. So you have Fable, which is book one. Then you have Namesake, which is book two. You have The Last Legacy, which is a companion novel following different characters in the same world. I read all of those. This is the prequel. I have not read it yet. Um, I was gonna start it about a month ago, but I got sidetracked and I listened to other books instead. Um, like I said, I was at the Barnes Noble book sale with my daughter and I saw a couple of books that I really wanted to get and she put them in my hand and would not let me say no. So she spent $35 on me, which I was very, very thought was very sweet. Um, the next one I got was A Dowry of Blood. Um, I know this is a Dracula um, wives tale and there's some sort of sapphic romance in here, which I appreciate. So that one I'm excited about. And the last one is The Weight of Blood, which a lot of people like this one a lot. It's a Carrie retelling. I heard that it's very emotional. I recently read Ace of Spades and the racism in that book made me so angry. I spent so much of that book mad. And then um, when the reveals came out at the end, I was even more mad. So I'm a little worried that this is gonna piss me off. Um, I don't understand how people can treat each other like shit. And I was watching some stuff on this book today and they were talking about the blatant racism in it. And um, I think it's really good for us fair, white, complected, complexion people to uh, read these types of books so that we understand what's going on in the world and we understand what other people have to deal with that do not have our fair complexion. Um, but it really pisses me off. So I am excited to read that, but I'm also very nervous because I don't necessarily like being mad the entire time I read books. Like Ace of Spades was a really, really good book. Um, but I think I only gave it four stars because I spent so much of the book mad. And that is literally the point of the book. But I rate on 
my enjoyment level, not necessarily on the books being good or bad. And so if the more I enjoy it, the higher the rating it gets, unless there's a reason for me to bring it down. If I read a book, it was really good, but it was really problematic, I'll bring it down. If I read a book that really pissed me off, but was really good, I'll bring it up. So for me, like Ace of Spades took a three star book because it pissed me off the entire time I was reading it. But that was the point. It was really well done. It was a very good story. I gave it four stars. You get the idea. Um, so we'll see how that one goes. So next I have um, the used bookstore that we went to as well as uh, book, uh, half price books. They're all kind of mixed together. Some of them have you know, the half price on them and some of them don't. I do have one other book that I got from the library. This was the one that I told you that I got from the shelf at my local library. They have a little shelf of like for sale books and a little like money box you put your money in. This is what I got. It's called The Unbroken by C.L. Clark and it's a fantasy book. It's the first one of the trilogy, I think. Um, I thought it sounded good. Don't remember what it's about now though. So we're just gonna put that over there. Now we'll get into the rest of the books. One second while I snap these all up. Uh, this one is my husband's. We got it at the half price bookstore, the used bookstore, um, which everything in there is half price or less. And uh, he's been really, really interested in this one. So he got that one and he put it in my pile. So I guess I'll give it to that one to you too. My daughter, on the other hand, buys tons of books and none of them are in my pile. So if you ever see them, it's because she screwed up. All right, um, let's just kind of start picking here. I've wanted to read an L. Kennedy book for a while. I've been really interested in them. I do have uh, one other L. Kennedy book and it's one of the like sports romances or something. This one's The Good Girl Complex. They also had number two, which is the Bad Girls something or other. Um, but I figured maybe I should just get the first one. So I got the first one. Uh, I don't know. It's on a lot of people's like darky, smutty book lists. There was more than one there. I figured that I would go ahead and get this even if I'm not sure what it's about. It's called The Doctor. It's by Kiki Sloan. Uh, Nikki Sloan. Sorry, not Kiki. Nikki Sloan. And I, I don't know. The tagline on the front says, he'll write a prescription for your pleasure. We'll see if how I do that one because right now I don't know. Um, I also got Autobiography by Christina Lauren. I know this is one of their YA books. Um, I heard it's really good. It's about this boy who was out of the closet, moves to a small town, gets shoved back into the closet, and um, it's, I heard it's really good. It's like brand freaking new. So I got that one. Uh, I love Nora Roberts. I understand that most people don't, but I do, and um, she's got a new series out. This is the third book in the series. I already have the first two. No, I have not read them yet. Nora Roberts is a lot like Susan Mallory for me. Um, her books have a lot more in them, so like Susan Mallory's are just pure fluff. They are 100% cotton candy books. They are very tasty, they have no substance whatsoever. These ones normally have some more substance but not a lot so they're like my gummy bears or my fruit snacks compared to my cotton candy and um this one is a dragon book it's called heart dragon legacy i have the first two books this is the third one i found it for ten dollars when it's like a thirty dollar book so it was less than half off and uh, most of the other books on the shelf were all fifteen dollars this one was ten it looks like it's in fine shape so i bought this one very happy with that that little deal. I think these are all the books I got from the used bookstore. Um, used bookstore is about half an hour from me. They sell everything for half price or less depending on how old it is. If it's brand new, it's half price. If it's uh, more than two years old, it is no more than like, for hardcover, it's no more than $9. It's half price or $9. Um, and then the paperbacks are like half price or $7.75. So all these books range in prices. Most of them are cheaper. I think I've only got like one book in here that's newer. Um, I have this book called The Succubus Book by Rachel Mead. I have the first one. I haven't read it yet, but I really liked Rachel Mead. 
they had number two and four there. I bought both of them. Again, they were on the less expensive side because they're older books. Um, this one is mine and my daughter's. I sent her to the Cozy Mysteries and told her to grab a book that stuck out at her. She got The Unfortunate Decisions of Delilah Moss, which is super video gamey. I don't know what it was about this one that she liked, but it's a mystery. It's a cozy mystery. So that's all I think I told her. It's like, go find me a cozy mystery. This is what she found me. So I will find out what that one's about. Um, it'd be kind of fun to do a reading vlog. This is the book my daughter picked out for me. All right, I also got The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. I have the second one over here on my bookshelf somewhere, uh, but I never had the first one. I've never been able to find it. So I just been holding on to the second one, hoping I'd find the first one eventually. I found the first one. So that one goes on the pile. Another Rachel Kane book. I really liked Rachel Kane. I read almost all of her Morganville vampire series. Um, about eight books in, I kind of lost interest and I never read any more of them. These books are about a library. This is book four. Rachel Kane did die recently. I don't know if she died before or after this book was finished. The series was finished, but there is four books in it. I think this last one came out quite a while ago. This one came out in 2018. Um, so I think this series is complete, but I'm not 100% sure. But this, I now I have the first four books of the series. I do want to read it. I do like her as an author, so I am looking forward to reading it. I also went through the Cozy Mysteries. So I sent Elise through the Cozy Mysteries while I was looking at the romance. And this is what I found when I went through the Cozy Mysteries. This is The Madness of Mercury. It's a Zodiac mystery. And I don't know. It looked cute. I have no idea. If you guys have good Cozy Mysteries, let me know. Because I get into these really weird moods where all I want is fluffy books. And Cozy Mysteries are the epitome of fluffy books to me. Um, the last book I bought, I was literally walking out of the, out of the store. And it caught my eye. I do not like historical romances. I like historical fiction. I love historical fiction. Doesn't matter what time frame it is, you can send me back to Christ's birth and give me a historical fiction about the normal person during that time frame and I'd be like, okay, cool. You could send me back to the Roman Empire and I'd be like, okay, cool. You can send me back to World War II, which I've read plenty of and I'd be happy with. I don't like the way they treat women in historical romances though. I don't like that women don't have any power and this is about a romance that's supposed to be like, oh, but this man is different than those ones are. 100% understand why some people like that. It's not for me. Again, it pisses me off. Things about inequality piss me off and so I don't read those books. However, I saw this one and I really, really wanted to read it. So this one is A Lady for a Duke and it's about a trans woman falling in love with a cis man and I've heard really good things about it and I'm hoping because she's trans that it may not fall into those normal historical romance pitfalls. I could be very very wrong but I've heard amazing things about this book and I've been wanting to read it. I found it for, it's got to be like seven bucks right? $8.25 because it's new so it's half priced um, and I I'm really excited about this one. So I will let you guys know. I am also trying to get back into reading vlogs. Um, I have one vlog going for my surgery so that you guys can have like an updated idea of how my surgery went. I updated it a little like opening clip before. I updated after like a week or two and then I updated it after, um, I think I've updated twice. I don't know, I'm a little behind on that one. Um, but I will update you again on my six week and then I will probably put it out after that just to make sure everything's good and going, going well. Um, but I also would like to do like some reading vlogs and if you guys have a book in here that you saw that you'd like me to do a vlog on, let me know. I would be happy to do that. Um, if you have any other ideas of videos you'd like to see from me, let me know that too because I am trying to get back into doing sit down reading videos and vlogs because they're my favorite to do, I just haven't been doing them. Playing with me are just so much easier because you don't have to see my face. So when my hair is like, 
no one sees it. But yeah, that's it for the moment. I hope you like my picture. It won't be there forever. Um, I got it at a thrift store. <laughs> I thought it was cute. There's one behind it too. Uh, but we have to fix the frames before I can hang them up. Um, anyways, that's it for now. I will talk to you guys again soon and I will see you later. Bye!